This story begins in 1317. A somewhat wealthy man by the name of Blage of Brezovica signs a contract with the Saxon landowners of the area in return for settling a previously untamed land, which went by the name of Grunwald. The land was marked by low-level mountains, rivers, and dense forest. Blagier would in return not have to pay taxes for 18 years, and have an almost free reign as the village head. When that 18 years was up, each settler would have to pay a small fee, a chicken, a pig, and a loaf of bread. And with this, the town of Blazhov was formed. Though for much of its early existence it was an incredibly small and desolate town, the West Slav and Saxon settlers were ill-equipped in farming for such an area. Just over a century later, there were six households, a paltry sum to what its potential could be. This would soon change. With desolation came opportunity. The Wallach Rusins to the east made their presence known, heeding the call of nobles who asked for new blood. These migrated across the mountainous landscape of Carpathian Ruthenia, and with them bringing salvation to the town. Settling the area with the Wallach Law, protecting its borders from armies and rogues, Blazhov could now finally flourish. But would it survive the coming centuries? What followed was an explosion in prosperity. Turning into a productive town in the area, Blazhov was granted privileges, such as being able to produce charcoal, and was given a forge for iron. In the higher slopes, cattle roamed in meadows, with the lower lands being used for farming. The population would continue to steadily grow, the worry of bandits and wars from the north now more unlikely. It would never transform into a town such as Preshov or Ushorod, but it was successful in its own right. By the turn of the 18th century, most of the village's inhabitants were Wallach Rusins, only fragments of the previous Saxons and West Slavs remained, with a few Jews too. It was in 1952 that the decision was made to build the Yavorina military base on the land of Blazhov and other villages close to it. Given paltry sums of money, most villagers refused to leave their homes, eventually being forced out. It was the day of May 20th, 1952, when the eviction started. And by the end, over 200 families were thrown out of their homes and forced to settle in villages nearby or as far as the Sudeten land in the Czech Republic. A brave few returned in 1953 to their homes. This, however, just angered the Czechoslovak government even more. The returnees were removed and all houses were destroyed. At some point over the next few years, the only remnant of the village, its Greek Catholic church, was torn down as well. And with that, the history of the town of Blashov closed. <laughs>